Hi, I'm Nico Baclayo. I'm John Vincent Igna. And, And welcome, welcome to, to Miriana Tutorial. Tutorial. Today's topic, we were gonna talk all about growth and decay and it is one of the application of differential equation today we will we'll gonna show you three problems three problems wow. it's categorized by easy moderate and hard uh, before anything else we first define the meaning of growth and decay in its formula the exponential word problems almost always work off the growth and decay formula the formula of Growth and decay is the P sub T is equals to P sub 0 times E raised to the power of K times T where our P sub T is the ending amount of whatever you're dealing with. May it be money, bacteria growing in a petri dish, radioactive decay of elements highlighting your x-ray. And our P sub 0 or P sub O is the beginning amount of that same whatever. And our key is the growth or decay rate. And lastly, the T is the rate or the time. The exponent is used when modeling continuous growth that occurs naturally such as populations, bacteria, radioactive decay, and etc. You can think of E like a universal constant representing how fast you could possibly grow using a continuous process. And the beauty of E is that not only is it used to represent continuous growth but it can also represent growth measured periodically across time so now we will proceed to our first problem a biologist is researching a newly discovered species of bacteria at time t equals to zero hours he puts 100 bacteria into what he has determined to be a favorable growth medium six hours later he measures 450 bacteria. Assuming exponential growth, what is the growth constant K for the bacteria? What we have is 450 bacteria, U equals to 100, T equals to 6 hours, and K is unknown. From the formula of growth and decay equation, we simply plug in all our equation. Then, we will transfer this 100 to the left side by dividing both sides so that what remains is E raised to K times 6. Then, divide both sides by E turns into ln 4.5 equals to 6k. Then, divide both side by 6 so that what remains on the right side is k. By answering all of this, the answer will be 0 0.25. Easy, right? And now, we proceed to our second problem. Uh, a growing strain of bacteria in your desktop doubles every 5 minutes. Assuming that you start with only one bacterium, how many, how many bacteria should be present at the end of 96 minutes? So first, in order to solve the problem, we must find the value of k. So we have this equation. p sub t equals to p sub o times e to the power of p times t. So, since we have it it says that it doubles in 5 minutes, so we have 2 equals to 1 times e to the power of k times 5 since it is 5 minutes. So we multiply both sides of the equation by ln. So it will become ln of 2 equals to ln times e to the power of k times 5. So since ln times e, it will be eliminated. So we have now ln of 2 equals to k times 5. So in order to find the k, we must transpose the number 5. So we, if, if, since it is multiplication, if we transpose it to the other side of the, our equation, it will become a uh, division. So it, we, we have k equals to ln of 2 over 5. So if you, if you calculate the value of it, you have the value of our k. So after that, we go back to our original equation. P sub t equals to P sub o times e to the power of k times t. So since we have our value of k, we, sub, we just substitute it. So we have 1 times e to the power of our value of k times, since it is said that it is 96 minutes. So the, our value of k times 96 minutes. So, 
you have so our number of bacteria is 602,248.7631 bacteria so as simple as that the last is the difficult one two months ago you had three mice you now have 18 so the question is what is the k value how many mice two months from now and how many mice one year from now so start with the formula p sub t is equals to p sub o times a raised to the power of kt we know that our p sub o or our a is three mice and our t is two months and right now our p sub t is 18 mice substitute it to the formula p sub t is equals to p sub o times a raised to the power of k t so our p sub t is 18 and our p sub o is 3 then our t is 2 so divide both sides by 3 so we now we now have 18 divided by 3 is equals to 3 times e raised to the power of 2 t then divide by 3 so cancel 3 then take the natural logarithm of the both sides so we now have ln of 6 is equals to ln of e raised to the power of 2 t following the logarithmic properties which is ln of e raised to the power of x is equals to x so we now have ln of 6 is equals to 2 k swap sides so now we have 2 k is equals to ln of 6 then divide by 2 so our value of k now is ln of 6 all over 2 we could calculate that k is approximately 0 0.896 but it is the best to keep it as k is equals to ln of 6 all over 2 until we do our final calculations so we can now put k as ln of 6 all over 2 to our formula from before p sub t is equals to 3 times a raised to the power of ln of 6 times t so now let's calculate the populations in two more months so our t is four months substitute it to the formula so we now have p sub 4 is equals to 3 times e raised to the power of ln of 6 all over 2 times 4 so our p sub 4 is equals to 108 and in one year from now our t is 14 months so substitute 14 to p sub t so we now have p sub 14 is equals to 3 times e raised to the power of ln of 6 divided by 2 times 14 so our p sub 14 is 839,808 so that's a lot of mice right so, so that's, that's all guys hope you've learned something from this video and don't forget to subscribe to Mariana this channel tutorial. may god bless us a hundredfold Thanks and thank you watching. for watching